Hello, my name is Jarg and welcome to the next instalment of Jarg Teaches Java. Now, in the previous episode, I guess you could call it an episode, in the previous set we um, created our plugin code and it's called Quick Creative. It's going to have a command which is going to be QC and it's going to toggle people between creative and survival in this particular case. Now you can see there's no real mention of QC here at all. Now that's because this plugin is only going to have one command. So the question is, how is this plugin going to know that QC is a command that it should bother with, as opposed to ignoring completely? Well, at the moment, it isn't a proper plugin. All it is at the moment is just a bit of code that will build, but that won't do anything if we plopped it into the plugins folder. The reason for this is there are two files needed as a minimum in any plugin. One is going to be the Java code itself. There may be other Java files as well. Um, whenever you save, by the way, it builds that. So we know that this is valid code at this point because this icon doesn't have a red um, indicator on it to say this is wrong. The second file is called a YML file or a YAML file. Uh, it's not a Java file, it, but it is a code file. Now I'm going to right click on source packages and choose new and it will already understand it. It's in this list, YAML file, that's what I want. Um, now you have to give it a name and a folder and tell it where to put these things. Now the file name I'm going to use, in fact that you have to use, is plugin. So I'm going to call it plugin.yml. Hopefully that's going to be in the right place. You can see according to this it's going to put it inside the quick creative folder which is not quite the right place. I do need this to be in source, not in the actual namespace that we created here, com, jarg, and then quick creative, just in the source folder. Select it, click finish, and it should, there we go, it's named it wrongly, terrific, I'm going to rename that now. It's, it's put it in the default package folder, but it gave it the wrong name. Apparently we're not going to need the .yml on the end, it's going to do that automatically. Fine. So there we go. That's another way of uh, renaming files if it does anything wrong. You can just click it and it will eventually pop in with this little menu or uh, text field rather. Now you can see it's in default package. That's what we want. It mustn't be inside this one or we won't find it. It has to have the name plugin YML. I think it's case, it's case sensitive just like everything else in the Java language. It's a template so it's given us some nonsense. We don't need this. A YML file is basically a list of information. Now there's several bits of information we're going to need. We're going to need a name, it needs to know where our Java code is, it needs maybe a version number, I think that's mandatory, and it needs, uh, it can have authors, so I'm going to make an authors list there, uh, it needs a description of some sort. All of these things are going to add to our experience in-game with this plugin. And it needs uh, a commands section. Now. These things, um, these files, are pretty tricky things to work with. They've got a, they can't have tab keys. If you're going to make a list, it has to be formatted correctly. It uses spaces at certain um, points to indicate that it's uh, uh, at a certain level in the file. This one's going to be quite easy because it's just a list of one, two, three, four, five, six, however many things we've got here. So now, the th first thing is, what name has our plugin got? Now, this, as I say, this can be anything. It doesn't need to actually match our project name, but it's usual to do that. It can have spaces. It's just, again, um, advisable not to because uh, certain plugin loaders are going to have trouble with those. Now, it needs to know where our code is. Now, we know it's in com.jarg because of this uh, namespace we created earlier. It's in a, a package called Quick Creative. It needs to know where our actual class is. So we need dot quick creative on the end of that to match our class name. Now it won't know whether this is wrong until it's built the project and we've put it in the right place. So that's just something to be aware of. Now what version is this? Well, it's a test version. So zero, oh, it's not 0, 0.0, it's 0 0.1, All right? Um, until you've released a, a plugin and then you can just put a one here. These numbers are optional, but it's best for you to keep track of these and to keep on incrementing this value until you're finished with a, a, a working plugin that you're happy to distribute. Now, authors. Well, uh, there are ways of making lists. I'm going to use this method. I am the only author of this. If there were others, you put one per line. 
So I don't know, so if we did something like this, then we've now got two different authors working on this. It doesn't have to match your in-game name, it could be anything. Uh, okay, so the description of the plugin. Um, quickly toggle between creative, um, between survival and creative. There we go. The descriptions show up in-game if you do the version information for a plugin. They are also used or can be used on various websites to actually keep track of which plugins are installed and to show you the, the description information and who created it and, and so on. And it's also used by uh, automatic updaters to make sure you've got the right version stuff. Now the next thing we have is commands. Now this is where we have to tell it what our command is going to be if we're going to have more than one of them. It's a type of list, but it's not going to start with a dash. It's going to start with the actual command name. So QC was our name, and you can see it's now tabbing us in by four spaces here. Two, three, four. Right? Uh, it uses two spaces or four spaces uh, at each level, but it's got to be consistent, otherwise it will not understand. Uh, I think if I put this in the wrong place here, it won't understand, and will eventually tell us that this is wrong. So four spaces there. Uh, so then commands have got a description. Oh, I can't really spell it too well. There we go. Uh, a description. So this will uh, toggle between game modes. That's what this does. Uh, the other thing it needs is some usage information. Now this can be anything, but it's as it's going to be uh, shown on screen. So I'm going to just put that as my usage information. There we go. My plugin.yml, I believe, is complete. I guess we'll find out. Oh, while I'm on, on the subject, uh, sometimes you see version numbers with three digits, like this. That's fine as well. This is like a major version, minor versions, and then bug fixing type versions. You increment this if you found errors in your code. I'm confident-ish that my code here has no errors. So I've got some Java code. I've got a YML file. It's in the default package in this case. I should at this point be able to build this and have and see if there are any errors. I'm going to right click on the project, choose clean and build, which gets rid of any old version and then rebuilds. You could just do build because it is building things as we go along. And you can see according to this it's compiling it, meaning building that particular project. It has created it, it's stored it, here it is, quick creative dot jar, and it's in a distribution folder in our project. Build successful took six seconds because I'm recording so it slowed it down a bit but that's fine. It does compile as you go the Java file so that's kind of useful. So we've created our plugin but now we need to actually make use of it. Uh, we need to find that. Now the easiest way to find it is to right click a particular f code file, choose tools and then uh, show in finder in this particular case or it'll be show in Windows Explorer. On Windows and you can see here it's showing me that Java file. If I just go up a couple of folders to the project folder that'll do us. You can see as well as the source folder with all of the code and so on that's the structure of our project there. It's also got this distribution folder um, and there's our plugin and it's a should be a very small file there's not a lot involved in this it's 3k at the moment hopefully I'll be able to make that even smaller shortly. Let's give this a go and see if it's going to work. Now in order to do this I'm going to get rid of NetBeans, just minimize that a moment, and go into the folder we created for our server. And if you remember it has various folders and files already inside it. I'm going to move or copy my cre quick creative file into there, into the plugins folder. It's got to be in plugins. It can't go in update yet because we haven't updated an existing one. We've just put in a new plugin. So there's that plugin. Let's just give this a quick go. I'm going to run the server and it will eventually load my plugins. Notice there are no errors so far. It's just loading in the spawn areas for our particular world. And here is our plugin loaded successfully. Quick Creative. If you remember, I put in a message for if I tried in the console, this command must be run in game. So that's coming up already. So we're doing well. If I now run Minecraft, I should have had this running already, but I didn't. I should be able to run this particular plugin in game and get a different result. Now I can't remember if I was in creative or not when I did this before. Let's just join localhost. There we go. 
and we will see. Whoa, oh, there we go. I thought I was in a block. Oh, yes, I was in creative at the end of the previous one. So as you can see, my inventory is the creative inventory. If I do slash QC, there we go. I'm definitely in survival mode now. And I can go and hack blocks down and all will be amazingly well until I get creepered. Um, so our command is working, um, which is good news. So I can do it again to go back to creative and you can see it's working perfectly. So that was the plugin we've created. Very simple-ish plugin in terms of what, what it does in game, but not the simplest in terms of the code, perhaps, if it was all new to you. Um, but we are going to build on this plugin and add more stuff to it. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.